Started out, as most projects do, on a napkin at a regional seminar. That's where everything really came together and people had to make commitments. A commitment of taking what was to what could be in the form of a new, from the ground up, training center here in Salt Lake City. The NECA IBEW Powering America team spends millions of dollars of its own money every year on building, expanding, and maintaining its facilities. And here, the Utah Electrical Training Alliance's new facility is a sight to be seen and experienced. You walk in the doors of this place and your mind's gonna be blown because it's so nice and so like welcoming. There's stuff that you have no clue what it is and there's stuff that you see that you know a little bit about and it's just exciting to know that you're gonna learn how to do everything. I've been able to see the progression from going two by two sheets of plywood with training labs and boards that we would pull out of a closet, pull into the classrooms, to now where we have them fixed on the walls where we actually have a lab. Years ago, conventional wisdom in the industry put a heavy focus on lectures and textbooks as the primary delivery model for instruction. But recently, a shift has taken place in the industry where apprentices are now looked upon as valuable members of a construction crew. Thus, the instruction they receive has to adapt, and that means continuing book learning, sure, but incorporating much more hands-on training in the controlled lab environment. You can't learn it if you can't get your hands on it, you know? You gotta be there, hands-on work, and you have to know what the knowledge is from the book, and you need to know how to do it with your hands, too, so you gotta learn everything. Rather than trying to explain theory and have them try to imagine it, or even looking at just a PowerPoint or a picture, you can walk up, you can touch it, you can point to things on there. I have a class full of students in the Bender lab right now, and a lot of them had never touched a hand bender before. I can walk in there and say, here's a hand bender. I can physically point out and touch the different markings on there and how to use it, and there's no question. They understand. It creates a familiar feeling. You know exactly how to measure. You know all the things before you even start doing it at, at the job. But this school is top-notch and up-to-date with everything they have, so it makes it a lot more fun. Conduit bending and fire alarm wiring, transformer experience, and even exothermic welding are just a few of these skills gained here. The advantage of having this much space and enough stations for all the apprentices is that every apprentice gets the ability to do something. You get somebody who's pretty shy or they're unsure of their level of skill and they don't think that they're quite up to the task, even though that's the whole purpose of the apprenticeship is to learn that, they will kind of hide out in the back and wait to be passed over. It really forces them to have that exposure. And by the end of the day, usually they're thankful that we did it. Upon graduation, what the NECA contractors get, what the IBEW provides them, what the customer ultimately receives is a steady stream of new, smart, safe and trained journeyman electricians and technicians. But it isn't all about the X's and the O's. Because we are a joint venture with NECA and the IBEW, we teach more than just electrical. We teach how to be a member of our union. We teach them how to be good union brothers. We teach them how to respect the contractor. We teach them what the contractor has to go through. They're teaching them how to adapt out there in the field, how to learn, how to ask questions, how to help others, how to work as a team out in the field. See the value of a well-trained, uh, educated apprentice coming out, join our workforce. So we do invest a lot of time and money into these apprentices. That way they can be successful out in the field. My greatest satisfaction comes with being able to see a new applicant come into our program and work through, sometimes struggle, through the curriculum, through the work field experience, and at the end of the day, at the conclusion of the five-year program, feel that knowledge, skill, experience, pride of having that classification of journeyman inside wireman. For Electric TV from Salt Lake City, Utah, I'm Dominic Giratano.